Hello everyone, Meep Reads here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing Naked Mole Rat Saves the World by Karen Rivers. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you do, make sure to like the video and also subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my content. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So, Naked Mole Rat Saves the World by Karen Rivers has 290 pages, and I'm just going to leave it at fiction. So this book is about Kit, and Kit actually stands for Keep It Together, and Kit has alopecia, and when her mother gave birth to her, she called her My Little Naked Mole Rat. Weird, right? And anyway, her friends Clem and Jorge go on to a, a talent show, much like a specific famous one on NBC. And anyway, something really bad happens, and then something really bad happens to Kit. She becomes a naked mole rat, and throughout the whole book, she has to figure out how to stop this uh, from just randomly becoming a naked mole rat without being able to control it, and Clem has to figure out how to get out of her head after this horrible thing happens. So, one thing that I want to mention is that uh, alopecia is a condition where you lose all of your hair, so whether it be hair on top of your head, obviously, but it also means eyebrows and facial hair, etc., etc. And I actually knew about alopecia before I read this book, and I learned about it from Kevin Bull, who is in American Ninja Warrior, and I really love that show, and I love to watch it with my family. Um, and so he works with a group called uh, Children's Alopecia Project, or CAP for short. And I thought that this was just really cool because I've never actually uh, seen a book that mentions alopecia, and I thought that, that was pretty cool. And also, I've only met one kid uh, ever who has alopecia, and he used to be uh, in my on my tennis team and I thought that that was also really cool and I got to talk to him for a while and it was really nice uh, to learn about it and I thought that that was just something that I want to mention so I rate this for grades 4 to 7 and I think that 4 to 6 graders it isn't really the targeted book for them but it is like a strange book that I think the 4 through 6 graders would like you know being able to turn to a naked mole rat, it's kind of weird, but it's also kind of cool. And uh, I rated it for the 7th graders because this book talks a lot about that fight or flight and the anxiety and depression. And it it's a really important thing to talk about. So if you have a kid that's going through this, you might want to give them this book. You know, it's not going to help entirely, but I think that it will at least help a little bit. And I like that uh, it can be more towards teens, even though it's a little bit more of a silly book. And it can also be for younger kids, but just a little bit more serious. I gave the characters an 8. Something with the characters just wasn't working for me. But I like that Clem uh, was the part of the book that sort of dealt with like the teen awareness thing for anxiety and depression. And one thing that I also liked was Kit, other than talking about that fight in flight mode or whatever. Uh, I liked that because she was like so small that uh, her name, well, her, she pr she spelled her name lowercase k-i-t instead of capital k-i-t. I thought that that was pretty neat. Uh, I've never seen an, some, a book do something like that. And it's not a ginormous detail, but I think that it's pretty cool nevertheless. I gave the storytelling a nine, and I really liked the story and how it was told even though I might not have entirely liked the story. Um, I think that Karen Rivers did a really good job on this book, and this is actually Karen's fifth or sixth book. Uh, I'm not, I haven't actually read any of her other books, but after reading this book, uh, the storytelling is promising, so I'm probably going to read more books from her in the future because of this. I gave the plot a 7. I like this book a lot, but the thing is is that I didn't like that Kit actually turned into a naked mole rat. And I just think that um, Karen Rivers could have written this book differently. So for example, still the same title and everything, but she just didn't turn to a naked mole rat, but like the presence was still there almost. And essentially I liked that uh, the whole naked mole rat thing 
it sort of incorporated the fight or flight thing into the story, but I think that it could have just been incorporated differently without Kid actually transforming into a naked mole rat. I gave the length a 9. Uh, I think that the length was perfect. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about it. I just think that uh, I just took a point off because there were just some parts that might have felt too long. It was just maybe a couple chapters, but other than that, no complaints there. So I gave the ending a 7, and originally I gave it a 5. I'm not really sure why, because I went back and I realized for some reason I didn't like the ending when I first finished it, but now I realize going back that it was pretty good. I mean, I really liked how it ended, but the problem was uh, something happened, so sort of like the falling action. I really liked the falling action, but then the resolution sort of... Uh, I just didn't like how it went because it just seemed like not everything had been solved or at a state where it was going to be in the future. And the one problem that I have with this is uh, that I don't think that this is that there's going to be a sequel off of this book. And I think that if a sequel was, was to be written, then that would make sense. But if there's not going to be a sequel written, then it just wouldn't work. So, Naked Morat Saves the World got 40 out of 50, and even though I took 10 points off, which is a lot more than I originally thought, uh, I think that this is still a really great book to give to struggling teens and tweens who just don't know what's happening, you know, and also I think it's a good book to give to younger kids in younger grades, uh, even though it's a little bit more serious. But I think that it still works for uh, grades 4 to 7. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. And also, if you enjoy my content and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified when my next video comes out. This is me, Breed, signing off. I'll see you next time.